Hey everybody, it's Darren Ridgely with Keller Williams Downtown Chattanooga. And today me and my team are working on blog posts and the things that we wrote about and how we figured that was going to work into our business and end up making us money. And what we were really talking about was that there were three main areas that we wanted to concentrate on for a blog post to turn into any money for us. We knew that it had to do three things. One, we had to figure out how to make it be found by studying keywords and different things like that, studying figuring out who's searching what terms, how to rank for those terms, how to put them in the post, how to use captions and thumbnails and video to rank higher, uh, to be found for the keywords that we wanted. And we did realize that this is going to be the hardest one to do, but also have perhaps the biggest range of people that could find it. Um, so one, we wanted to work on being found. We realized that we're not going to climb to the top of Google for every topic out there day one, but we can work at ranking high, and we can work at, ra at ranking for very specific searches. I know I'm not going to rank for Chattanooga Homes for Sale necessarily, but I might rank for Belvoir Homes for Sale or how to, how to buy a home in Chattanooga, things that people don't think about as much and don't compete more. So if you go to the keyword tool in Google, you can study you know how many local searches monthly versus the competition. The second thing that we realized is once we did all this work to be found, we better have be shared. So anybody that finds us, we want them to go on and share it with their friends, either email it to them, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it on Google+, wherever, wherever it is they choose to share it. We want those people that have found us to turn around and share it. And that leverages each person that finds us, to it leverages them even more. So first we had to be found by studying the keywords, figuring out how to rank for them, and not just putting them in the site itself, but putting them on the thumbnails of the pictures we took, you know, putting a video on there and tagging the video so the video had a thumbnail, and utilizing things like that to rank for them. Second, the content had to be good enough that whoever found us wanted to share us. And then finally, because these two are kind of, those are things that we do that would fall into marketing. Um, if we're going to take a proactive stance about it, we also have to share it ourselves. So we're going to use all our social media presence. We're going to use our Facebook pages. We're going to use our Facebook posts. We're going to use Twitter. Um, we're going to use YouTube. We're going to use all the different ways that we have followers or people out there that we connect and engage with. We're going to share it ourselves. I'm going to email it to certain people that I know are going to share it. I'm going to post it on Facebook in my, in my business page. And I'm going to put it places where people can find it, but a lot easier than just you know through Google. They can find it because I'm already connected with them. And those people are even more likely to share it so it kind of worked this way. We had to be found, and the people that found it had to share it. We had to share it ourselves. The people we shared it to, hopefully they shared it. So that was in the middle. So we had to make sure that the content was good. And we just worked back and forth on this idea. And so then, for every blog post that we've done, we went back and asked ourselves, are we working on making sure we can be found? Once it's found, are people likely to share it? Are we sharing it in the right places? And once we've shared it, the people we've shared it with, are they likely to share it? And that worked. That was a really um, productive process for us looking at what we're putting on the blog and what kind of content we're putting out there. So I hope you found this useful, and really I'm hoping as well that you'll come out and maybe share some ideas with me that you've had and tell me how to make this better, because that's where we're starting. But we've got a lot that we're missing, and so we're hoping some of you guys out there will share with us and let us know what you're doing. Uh, so, like I said, um, on Twitter, um, at... Realtor Darn. That's a great way to connect with me. Um, that's maybe one of the easiest ways. And then I also just have an email of Realtor Darn at gmail.com. All right. I hope you found this useful and I hope you'll comment. Thanks a lot.